dynamic shape. This year, go with the wind. Torino, 1970. a 1970 Ford Torino Super Cobra Jet uh, drag pack car. Um, that's unusual enough in itself, but what makes this car really unusual is it was built as a GT. Uh, no shaker, no nothing, sold at the legendary task of Ford, who many people credit with Ford building the original 428 Cobra Jets. Um, this car no longer has its original drag pack engine. Uh, it was replaced with a correct 70 Cobra Jet engine, which unlike the Super Cobra Jet does not have the four bolt mains. And the intake manifold's different from the outside. Uh, the casting number on the block's a Dove A, which is the same as the Super Cobra Jet. For, so from the outside, you can't tell it's not a four bolt main. Um, and the nice thing is if it bothered you one day down the road, you could always pull the motor and throw four bolt main caps on it because they're made to take them. Uh, you wouldn't even have to get a different block. Uh, the main caps I see on eBay from time to time. Um, anyway, it's got the correct four speed, tag number's correct. We just had that rebuilt. Um, it's got the original 391 gears in the back. The four speed cars come with staggered shocks, so they're good on the wheel hop end of things. Um, this car drives really nice and smooth. Um, you know, it's a quiet car. It's a pretty tame car for a drag pack muscle car. Um, it does not have the solid lifters anymore. They put a hydraulic cam in, which a lot of people uh, seem to do. So if you want to, you can put the solids back in and buy an oil cooler. Uh, like I said, this car was a total sleeper when it was sold at Tasca. This car had no laser stripe, no magnums. It was a hubcap car with 14 inch tires. And I don't know why they bought the GT. I wasn't there, but one thought might be, you know, just because it was more of a sleeper look. It didn't have anything but 429 badges, had no snakes, had no anything. So it was a, really a sleeper car when it was new. Um, if you wanted to restore it back to that, that would be easy. Uh, because the shaker is worth more than the GT hood that it would need to replace it. And uh, I gotta put this down, sun in my eyes. And uh, the louvers and everything are worth enough to buy an oil cooler. So if you want to go back to stock, you can take these parts off. But right now, this thing's got all the cool visual cues of a muscle car. It's got the shaker, it's got the louvers, it's got the laser stripes, it's got the big magnums. In fact, the rears are uh, custom made eight or nine inch. I, I forgot, I don't uh, remember, but they're a custom offset. They fit under the car put 275s under the back real easy with these and uh, yeah, it looks a lot better this way but if you want to turn it back because it is such a rare car you could always sell these items off um, but anyway as it is now this thing is a great muscle car in that you can you know put your family your friends in here there's enough room for everybody it's got plenty of power looking over that shaker is really neat so if you guys are looking for a cool muscle car you can drive as it is and if you want to restore it to its as built glory and with the value of a spreel drag pack four speed gt especially you know having been sold at tasca with the price of this car we're priced in the 20s so with that price you can easily if you wanted to put it back to stock and still not be upside down in this car so it's something worth looking at if you would like to have a really neat really rare torino you're probably not going to see another one like it anyway uh, give us a call or look on our website our uh, number is 360-863-2241 and our website is mainlymusclecars.com. 